Okay, each table is going to get a paper much bigger than this one. I'm using this size to demonstrate. Um, but your table will share a paper. This is a collaborative activity. We are going to take the short side. We're going to be folding the short side to the short side so it will be in half. It's a math and an art word. And then I want you to take the folded side and take that to the ends also. And then we're going to do one more fold is take this side again to that side. So we're going to have several folded rectangles on our finished piece, making sure you crease that paper so that when you open it, you have all those creases that are shown. Because that's what our painting will go in. So the next step is you want to make sure your names of everyone in your group are written on the back with a pencil. First name, last name, room and grade. And then we will bring you some paint <coughs> and you're going to get something to put under your paper to protect the table. And you're going to get three or four colors and you're going to paint uh, maybe every other rectangle. Uh, but we don't need to paint every single one. So if we paint every other rectangle, that way we don't have to touch a wet rectangle next to a wet rectangle. So maybe each person paint one or two rectangle spaces. That way everybody gets a turn as well as we get our paper rectangles painted quickly. So we're going to take our time to paint up to that fold. If you're struggling to see the fold, you can always take your pencil and draw the line. So I might do two this color just to move that color around the paper. That helps with see. So moving that blue and green around did help with the, the balance and some unity throughout the artwork. So I just used two colors. I'm going to go ahead and stop there and I'm going to let this dry. I'll put the whole thing on the drying rack.